Now on our default install, there's uh, more than one way to get to our notes. Uh, the first way is to go to our iDoc up here and go to accessories and then text editor. The other way is to go to our iOS, our iOS bar, go to applications, and if we look around we will see iNotes. Here it is. It's got numbers down the side that will help us out in, later on. Um, you can type in whatever you want, as you see. And let's say I'm working on this document and then I thought of something else but it doesn't pertain to this subject so we can open up a new one. Turn to the side. Write that down too. Now when we're done, we'll just hit save. It pops up our files on our iOS folder. We can save it to whatever we want to. Now when you get done with that and saved it, um, we just can go ahead and go to open. Go to whatever one That you want and you see it opened it up. When we're done typing on that or fixing whatever we can hit save and it will save it as it is without popping up anything or if we decide that we've changed we want to keep the original and change this one we'll hit save as and then you can just rename it. Now another great thing about our text editor here, our iNotes, is that we can actually program in it. And I'm sure there's more ways than what I'm going to mention, but for at the least what I've used it before is we can do our PHPs or our HTML um, web editing and I also know that we can, uh, because of those, uh, we can also create our um, iApps and other stuff and then write our code in here too if we would like. Now here's a simple HTML code and you see there's there's coloration here which is great for us. Um, now for those who don't know what I'm talking about and are still curious, um, basically what that is, the reason why we have different colors is that it shows us if we got the syntax correctly. Um, let's say I, I messed up and I forgot to put that right there. Um, you know, as, as I go through it will change color on me and it'll let me know that I didn't do something correct. I need to go and fix it. Now earlier what I was talking about with these numbers is that sometimes when we get an error pop up that it will tell us a number next to it and then we can go to that number let's say it was number you know uh, 46 or something like that well we can scroll up here and find that number and see that that was some bad code and fix it I really end up using my uh, notes, my iNotes, on here more than I do my iDocs and stuff. Um, although iDocs, um, there's no replacement for it, but it's just nice to jot down stuff real quick, and it's really a great feature for our coding and things. Um, it's a very stable app, never had any problems with it. And there you go. And one more thing before we sign out uh, I do remember reading that it has autocomplete. Um, also for our coding. Um, I haven't really tested it yet but I know it's in there and that means even if it doesn't now completely that it's going to next time. Alright, signing out.